What's your name? Olivia. Olivia. How old are you, Olivia? Second grade. Second grade. At times, Ellen DeGeneres has one of the most fun shows on daytime TV, which is why she's so beloved. But sometimes, things get awkward, and I mean really awkward. Allow us to show you some of them. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. How to cheat yet win a Jenga. This one is a simple one, but it's fun nonetheless, and yet completely awkward in its own right. Allison Sweeney was on the show one time and had noted to Ellen that she was a huge fan of Jenga. Her family loved to play it and they would do it for hours on end. So Ellen, being a big gaming fan herself, challenged Sweeney to a game of Big Jenga. Everything was going fine until Sweeney tried to reach high up to stack a piece and then Ellen shoved her. It was a light touch to be sure, but because Sweeney was wearing high heels, she fell over, knocked over the Jenga tower, and then fell to the floor. Even Ellen was surprised by how that all went down and repeatedly apologized. But yeah, it kind of went too far. Thankfully, Sweeney had a sense of humor and was laughing about it as Ellen comforted her. But you can bet Ellen didn't try that prank again. Granted, I wouldn't fault Ellen for this awkwardness unlike certain entries you're about to see, but the fact remains that she literally pushed one of her guests into a giant Jenga tower just to throw them off. That's mean. Trust me though, she's just getting started. Why would you do that? Based on the last entry, you'd think that Ellen sometimes goes really in depth with her pranks just to get something over on someone, but by her own admission, she sometimes just pulls a prank out of her hat and it goes over so huge that even she didn't expect it to happen like this. And the best example of this is when actress Kristen Bell came onto the show. You know her from Veronica Mars, The Good Place, and Frozen, but on The Ellen Show, she was played the role of prank victim. It started out in a very innocent way. Ellen asked Belle what her favorite animal was, and to the surprise of many, she said it was the sloth. And she wasn't joking. She really loves sloths, to the extent that she actually had trouble describing why she loved them so much. But it ended up being that she loves them, despite them being not exactly cute and cuddly. And that was all that Ellen needed for a prank, because she went on to say that she actually had the cutest and most cuddly sloth for Belle to hold. And then Belle was getting all excited and shocked that Ellen would do this for her, until Ellen admitted that it was a lie. What happened next is literally a meme because Belle basically broke down into tears because she wanted to hold that sloth and it was a lie. Seriously, if you go onto Twitter and pull up GIFs and look at the off section, you'll find a fragment of Kristen Bell's reaction to being pranked about the sloth. The full version is just award winning, so let's watch it. Yeah, it's hilarious, but you do have to feel for Belle because she likely won't trust Ellen again after this. I'm so sorry! <laughs> We're gonna take a break. Oh, why would you do that? Ellen and Oprah. While it's true that Ellen DeGeneres is the queen of daytime TV right now, there is no doubt in anyone's mind that before her, the queen was Oprah Winfrey. She hosted her own show for 20 years, and because of that, she made a name for herself in every way that mattered. But that also means that she couldn't do basic things at times because her popularity would have her being mobbed by people. So after she retired, Ellen decided to have a little fun and take her grocery shopping. Sounds innocent, right? But even Ellen admitted that she hadn't been in a grocery store in a while because of her own fame. But then Ellen decided to take this opportunity to troll Oprah over and over and over again, such as bringing their own bags for recycling purposes, and then pulling out designer bags to put all their stuff in, or having Oprah hold a pair of melons and then taking her picture with them, or how about using the help phone to ask for help finding shampoo, but then blasting on speaker that it's for Oprah, or how about going to the actual Oprah food section, of which Oprah naturally got a lot of her own stuff, and then using it as an opportunity to poke even more fun at her. This went on for about four and a half minutes, and the jokes and ribbing were endless, and honestly, we're probably better off for it, and clearly Oprah was having a good time. So was this really a too far situation? Probably not, but it's definitely one where Ellen decided to make the most of the situation and get as many hilarious jokes and euphemisms as possible. Kanye West. Okay, now this was awkward, no doubt about it. It honestly shouldn't be too much of a surprise that someone like Kanye West would end up on this list, because if anyone would go from doing a simple interview to a rant, it would be Kanye West. And I'm not saying that out of bias or hate for the guy, it's just that he's done it over and over and over and over and over. I'll move on. Specifically, I'll move to May 2016, when he appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Like Kanye does, he went and pumped up the crowd and had everyone excited for his appearance. But then Ellen went and asked a very simple question to Kanye. Do you regret any of your Twitter posts? This question was poignant because Kanye had started to unravel around this time mentally due to his bipolar disorder. To that end, he got more and more erratic and would go off on Twitter sometimes for no apparent reason. So it made sense for this question to be asked. But what didn't make sense was what happened next. Which, to be honest, is what Kanye West does. Which is that he does not make any sense at all. He took this question and delivered an answer in terms 
terms of a six minute rant. Let me say that again. He answered this with a six minute rant and it wasn't about his Twitter posts either. He talked about his career in music, fashion, his race, the media, and more. And he kept talking and talking and talking. He would talk to Ellen, talk to the camera, to the audience, and on and on and on. And Ellen, bless her heart for this, she just sat there and took it in for all six minutes of his rant, only smiling to the camera when it panned to her to show that she wasn't going to interrupt, which is more than I can say for people who would have wanted to, you know, continued on with the planned interview. And then some of his comments got dark, and it put even more stress on Ellen, who definitely wanted this to be over. Could you imagine being in the audience during the rant, wanting to laugh or leave or to ask what the heck was going on, but not getting the chance because of Kanye? Yeah, it was a lot. But again, this is what Kanye West does. Fast forward to 2018, and he went on a similar rant on Twitter after a phone conversation with rival Drake. But instead of six minutes, he went for three hours. Three hours of non-stop tweets. Just like the Ellen interview, he went off the rails to talk about things that didn't have to do with Drake. But when he did talk about Drake, he claimed that the fan favorite rapper threatened him and his family, which definitely is not Drake's style. So hopefully Ellen won't have him back on the show, and if she does, she knows not to ask him questions that'll send him on rants like this. Then again, any question could technically send Kanye off on a rant, am I right? Caitlyn Jenner. Sometimes an uncomfortable interview doesn't happen because of a rant, but rather because of a comment made in bad taste that the host isn't really a fan of, which is a perfect segue into what happened with Caitlyn Jenner when she was on the show. Caitlyn Jenner and her transformation into who she is right now is one that is both eye-opening and head-scratching in the eyes of some. As many would point out, it was Bruce Jenner's choice to have the million-dollar operation to become Caitlyn, but some question the media praise that it got, such as her being given the symbol of courage during an awards show. But it wasn't her transformation that bugged Ellen, rather it was her opinions on a certain subject. When they did their first interview together, Ellen was all for Caitlyn and her fight for the rights of transgender people, so there was no friction there until Caitlyn started to talk about her feelings on gay marriage. Ellen is not just gay, she's happily married and has been one of the most vocal people in terms of the rights of her LGBTQ plus family. According to Jenner, she was once very opposed to it because of her traditionalist nature, which is the logic behind many such people's beliefs against gay marriage. But when Jenner tried to recover and say she was okay with it now, Ellen wasn't biting, not one bit. She called Caitlyn Jenner out on it, and that's when things got really awkward. After the interview, Ellen stated that she still didn't understand Jenner's position on the matter of gay marriage. Furthermore, Ellen offered Caitlyn the chance to dance with her, but she wouldn't do it, so Ellen said maybe she didn't want to dance with me because I'm a lesbian. To make matters even more awkward, Jenner was apparently offended by what Ellen said about her after the show to the audience, so she went on to the Howard Stern show and mocked her there. So it's fair to say they won't get back together anytime soon. Jessica Simpson Jessica Simpson is a rather interesting case when it comes to celebrity status. She was at one time one of the top female singers in hip-hop, and her marriage with 98 Degrees frontman Nick Lacey was so big that it got them their very own popular TV series. But that didn't last, and she later continued with music and with fashion, which suited her better. But in May 2017, things didn't go so well on The Ellen Show. You know that something is very wrong when the person who was getting interviewed cannot put sentences together. Jessica seemed very out of breath and even was slurring her words like she was drunk or something. And when answering questions like if she was pregnant or not, she didn't exactly give coherent responses. What's worse, she went off on conversations that were awkward in nature or just plain weird to talk about on daytime TV. Like topics of conversation that I really don't feel comfortable talking about on here because it's just too weird. At least Kanye had some direction in his rant. Simpson, on the other hand, had no such guidance. It got so bad that Ellen couldn't even keep a straight face. She laughed continuously at Simpson's topics and answers and had to look at the camera several times to let the audience know that she had no idea what was going on. And when Ellen pokes fun at Simpson, she didn't seem to notice. Like when Ellen noted, you somehow have a billion dollar fashion empire, which Jessica laughed off and said, it can happen to anybody. No, Jessica, it can't. That's the point. Eventually, Ellen had to pull the plug on the interview, not just to save face, but frankly to save sanity. So what was her deal? Was she tipsy? Under the influence? Just not prepared for what was happening? In 2020, Simpson revealed that she was at a low point in her life during the interview and was 100% drunk. She noted she can't even watch the interview because of how it came out. Don't worry, Jessica. Neither can we. Katy Perry. Let's be honest here. While a lot of these celebrities are the ones making things uncomfortable, sometimes it's Ellen who screws up, which is natural. She's not perfect, but when she screws up, oh boy, can it get pretty awkward. Such as one time where she made the goof of a lifetime when interviewing beloved singer Katy Perry. So what exactly happened? One time she brought Perry on the show to play a Would You Rather game and one of the questions was about two celebrities that she would want to marry. Perry went, do I have to get married again? And played it up for the crowd. Ellen was confused by the statement and somehow forgot that Perry was once married to actor and comedian Russell Brand. Obviously that relationship didn't last, but that doesn't mean that we should forget about it per se. And Katy was flat out shocked about the memory lapse, even noting, remember you gave me some wedding gifts on this show? To which suddenly the memory started flowing back to her, which is pretty bad when you really think about it. Forgetting the info is one thing, but forgetting that you had Perry on before and gave her wedding gifts when she was on? Yeah, that's not so cool, Ellen. The funniest part of all was that Perry motioned to the people behind the scenes to cut this part of the interview out, but clearly that didn't happen. And that's why it's one of the most awkward moments on the Ellen Show, audience member. When a person wants to do something kind 
kind for you, the one thing you shouldn't do is take advantage of that kindness. But Ellen knows that sometimes people can't be trusted with that, so she decided to play a little game to prove just how honest or dishonest her audience was. How this happened is that she decided to do a giveaway. It wasn't a lot, she gave away a bunch of stuff. Shirts, cups, hats, that kind of thing. Stuff that is valuable in certain ways that can't be described unless you've been there. There was only one catch. Each audience member could only get one item, and they were told specifically to only get one item. As you can probably guess, someone broke that rule. When the time came, Ellen sent the audience members in groups to go get their stuff. But what the audience didn't know was that Ellen had wired the room with cameras, partly for giggles, but also to make sure that guests followed the rules, or to see if any touching moments occurred. And lo and behold, one did when a woman wanted both a t-shirt and a hat, but couldn't because of the rule. So her friend offered to buy her the hat later on. A very nice thing, and Ellen was more than happy to just give the lady the hat without charge, which shows the class of Ellen, versus the class of a woman who was about to break all the rules. The audience member named Nancy entered the room and clearly didn't know that there was a camera watching her. Not only did she take more than one item, when her friend approached her about the items, she told her to shut up and not make a big deal out of it. Want to know who made a big deal out of it? Ellen. Because when she found out what dear Nancy did, she wasn't amused. Not one bit. When Nancy tried to defend herself, Ellen shot her down hard. This was one time when Ellen wasn't being funny. She was being very serious and she even sent Nancy to Ellen jail for her crimes. Let that be a lesson. If Ellen tells you to follow the rules, follow them. Ryan Seacrest. I thought I'd end this list on a very light note because this very awkward scene wasn't anyone's fault per se. It's just a case of mistaken identity, but not of a person. Rather, it was an item of questionable origin. Here's the deal. Seacrest came onto the show and gave Ellen a gift. What was it? A bingo game. Ellen is a well-known game night host and she even has her own game show. So this was a very lovely gift, but unbeknownst to Seacrest at the time, Ellen knew what he was giving her. So she decided to add to the gift by giving one of her own. She gave Seacrest a gift bag next to her chair. And when he found it, he pulled out the gift, looked at it very quickly and went, I don't know what that is, stuffed it back in the bag and looked away from it. What's the gag? What he received was a blue bingo stamper. What he thought he somehow got was an adult item, if you get my drift. Naturally, the audience and Ellen knew what he was talking about, but Ellen couldn't stop laughing long enough to tell him what the gift actually was. So to try and break the tension, Seacrest grabbed his gift to Ellen and tried to start a bingo game. See, sometimes innocence is hilarious. And there you have it, a look at sometimes when Ellen's show got really uncomfortable, either by her own hand or by the hand of celebrities. Which of these moments do you feel is the most awkward? Do you know another that could have been on this list? Let me know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.